Hello, welcome to How To Do Computers. I'm Mike, and today we're going to be looking at passing through storage devices to virtual machines in Hyper-V. There are two methods I use for this, and I'll be going over both of them in this video. The first method utilizes server-side USB pass-through, and the device will act as if it's attached to the virtual machine directly, making it unavailable to the host. For this example, I have a hard drive attached to the host machine, which we will be passing through to our guest OS. Let's go ahead and get that drive ready for pass through. So down in your start menu, right click and go to disk management. Find the hard drive you want to pass through. Right click, select offline to bring that drive offline. This will make it unavailable to the host operating system and available to be pushed through to the virtual machine. Now let's head back over to Hyper-V. Go ahead and make sure that your VM is shut down, then select it and open up settings. Go down to SCSI controller, select hard drive, and then click add. Here select physical hard disk and make sure that you have the right hard drive selected. Hit apply and then OK. Now we'll go ahead and start up the virtual machine. All right, the virtual machine is loaded, and if we check, we can go and see that the drive is now available to the guest OS. To detach the drive, we'll need to shut the machine back down. Then we'll go into settings, and then under SCSI controller, we'll see the hard drive that we just added. Go down here, click remove, and then hit OK. That should remove the drive from the virtual machine. Be sure to go back into disk management and bring the hard drive back online so that you don't forget. So this method is great if you want the guest OS to use the device as if it's plugged directly into the machine. However, there are a couple of drawbacks. One, it requires the VM to be shut down to add or remove the device. And two, it can't be used for regular flash drives as they can't be brought offline in Windows Disk Management. The second option we have is client-side USB pass-through. This is effectively the same as sharing the device over a remote desktop session and doesn't require a restart of the virtual machine. It will allow the device to be used by both the host and the guest OS, but it won't be treated by the guest OS as a native device and keep in mind, once you close the connection, the device will no longer be available to the guest OS. So let's go ahead and start up the VM and let it get all the way booted. As it boots, you may get a prompt to edit the session settings. However, in my case, I had the settings saved, so I'll need to edit those manually. To do that, I'll close the window Go back to my Hyper-V settings and then edit session settings down here under the virtual machine. If this option doesn't show up for you right away, you might need to deselect and reselect the virtual machine. So go ahead and click on edit session settings. Here we'll go to show options, then local resources, then under local devices and resources, select more, go to drives, and find the drive that you want to pass through. Here's our flash drive. We'll check it, hit OK, and then we'll hit connect. So now our drive should be available to the computer as a shared device, and here it is under redirected drives and folders. To disconnect the drive, we'll close out of this window here, go back to edit session settings, and basically undo what we did before by going to Show Options, Local Resources, More, and then deselect the drive. Hit OK, Connect again. And the drive should no longer be present. All right, that's about it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if you run into any issues, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.